Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the car Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. Now, I know that this thing is far from perfect. It was actually really, really difficult to make, especially given how small I had to make this thing. So I know that there's a lot of problems with it, but honestly, I really can't get it looking too much better. And the demand for this was so great that I at least wanted to give it a go. And I hope that you guys like it anyway. If you do, I would recommend that you do build it along with the Ghostbusters headquarters. You can see that Ecto-1 is actually outside of it. If you want to build this as well, check out the card system, check out the description below. You'll find a link to a tutorial which will show you how to make everything that you can see on the screen in front of you. Even including the Tiki bar off in the distance if you want to make that too. Anyway. If you do enjoy this video, please do give it a like, comment down below what else do you want to see in the future, I'd be very interested to hear what you guys are interested in, follow me on Twitter at TSMC360, let's get into actually building this thing shall we, because it's a little bit crazy. So if you want to make it, here's what you're going to need, grab yourself some lapis lazuli, some block of quartz, grab some quartz stairs, and some quartz slab, grab stone slabs, some stone brick stairs. Grab yourself some red wool, grab some black wool, and finally, grab yourself some black stained glass paint. Trust me when I tell you we're going to be needing loads more than this, but we'll just have to grab the rest of it as we need it. So, once you have each one of those materials, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it on the road, about, yeah, just about on the left-hand side of the front of the road of the headquarters. And I'm going to kick this off with a single black wall on the ground. And by the way, guys, we're going to start by making the front, and then we're going to make the back. The reason that this is important is because this car's quite long, so do make sure that you actually have enough room to build this thing, otherwise you might find yourself even deleting it or building a bigger road. Well, from your black wall, you want to go left of that by six with your stone slabs. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then on the ground, place a black wall. Going left, do two stone slabs. Then looking back at what you've made and coming across the back of the car, do a row of three stone slabs. That's one, two, three. Then looking back at what you've made and coming towards the front of the car, do a stone slab. Then do a black wall. Then six stone slabs, that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then a black wall. Then do a stone slab in front of that black. Then go left of that slab until you connect to the opposite part of the car. So you want to have something which should look like that. Once you have that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So we now want to come to the very back of the car. And we want to place a stone brick stairs on top of each one of the back corners of the car and then connect those stairs together with a row of quartz stairs. And you know what we can do, which we should have done, is just fill the bottom of this thing in with our stone slabs. Really, we should have probably have done this before we placed those rows of stairs on the back of the car, but hey, we're doing it now, right? Well, once you've placed those stairs, what you now want to do is you want to place a row of block of quartz that goes all the way around the edge of the car, and the quartz is on top of each one of these stone slabs, and it is not on top of the black wall. So you'll have something which should look like this. You then, with your quartz stairs, want to do an upside down quartz stairs on top of each one of those black walls. So on top of each one of the black walls, you want to do an upside down quartz stairs, like so. What we now want to do is we want to, coming to the very back of the car here, and we're going to need a couple of new materials for this. We can get rid of stone slabs, and we can probably indefinitely get rid of stone brick stairs. Grab yourself some nether brick stairs, and you can also grab yourself, what are we going to be needing, guys? You know what, we will need stone slabs, my bad. Well, what you want to do is, on top of the quartz blocks in front of the stairs, you want to place a red wall. And that red wall wants to come right or towards the front of the car by one. Do the same thing on the opposite side, so one here and then one coming towards the front. Do a never brick stairs, an upside down one, just above the regular facing stone brick stairs, and then place red walls on top of the never brick stairs. Extend the red walls backwards each by one, one and one, like this. What we then want to do is we want to have just in front yet above the layer of quartz stairs that we have here, we want to have a row of black stained glass pane, like that. 
And then above that, you want to stack a, a layer of quartz slabs, like that. Then in front of these quartz slabs, you want to stack stone slabs. And then you want to stack another layer of stone slabs on top of those, so they're double high. Do a lapis lazuli block either side of your stone slabs. You can then extend each one of these four blocks, the stone and the lapis lazuli, forward each by four. That's one, two, three, four. And you want to do the same with the others, so there's no need to count that out, is there? Well, once you have extended them out in front by four with the lapis lazuli, you then want to place a lapis lazuli in front of the end blocks of your row of four, and then you want to do stone slabs all the way in between the lapis lazuli, like that. What we can then do is we can place a row of quartz slab in front of the lapis lazuli and the stone, like so. Then we can connect the lapis lazuli down to the base of the car with a quartz block. Then fill in two rows of the actual like bonnet of the car in with your quartz. So that's one row, two rows. Then do a layer of black stained glass pane here for the window at the front of the car. What you can then do is add some details to the car. So that's majoritively a lot of the bodywork done. Now, you know what we should do? We should do all of the wacky stuff on top of the car. We should get that taken care of first. So to do this next bit, we're going to need loads of stuff. We'll need some Neverbrick fence. We'll need some yellow wool. Also, grab yourself some... We need some weird stuff, guys. We need some ladders. We'll need a daylight sensor. We'll need a redstone torch. A redstone repeater. We'll also need a brewing stand. We'll also need a beacon. This thing is getting crazy. And grab yourself some quartz slabs to finish that off. Well, on top of the car... You want to stack a yellow wall in front of and behind each one of these lapis lazuli. So like here in this position, here in this position, here and here. So like on top of the four corners of the roof of the car. Connect the yellow walls front and back together with a layer of never brick fence like that. We then, on top of these front two center quartz blocks here, you want to stack a redstone repeater in this position on this left block and a redstone torch next to it. And then extend the repeater out, going to the right towards the torch. Behind the repeater, place a brewing stand. To the right of that, place a beacon. Behind the brewing stand, place a daylight sensor. And to the right of that, you want to stack up a layer of quartz slabs. And it wants to be one, two, three and four blocks high get rid of just about everything you have except for the ladders and grab yourself some stone slabs some redstone slabs you'll also need yourself some item frames you'll want white wool and you'll want some red wool you'll also need some blue wool as well and I'm sure that I'm forgetting something, guys. Oh, we'll also need some block of redstone, and you'll also need some buttons. Like I said, you need loads of stuff. Well, on top of the slabs that you were just stacking, you want to, coming out from that last slab, you want to do two red sandstone coming out in front of that last slab. You then want to stack a stone slab on top of that. What we can then do is, on the left-hand side of the car here, and we are missing a block. So, can you see, by the way, that is the roof done. Just in case I didn't mention it, and I don't think I did, that kind of looks like a duck. On the left and right hand side of the car, and we're missing another material for this. It's so frustrating when you are, so we can get rid of the redstone slabs. We need quartz, and we want to place a block of quartz coming forward from each one of those red walls at the back of the car. Then on the this side of the car, like this side of the car, the right hand side of the car, the left hand side, whatever you see it, you want to, starting from that quartz, the one underneath the one that you just placed, you want to run a row of four ladders climbing up the car. What you can also do is you can place a button inside of each one of the four wheels of the car, like this. So inside each one of the four wheels. Also, place an item frame in front of the two stone brick stairs at the back of the car and place a block of redstone in them. Come to the front of the car, place item frames in front of the two corner quartz blocks and then place white wool in front of those. Place ladders in front of the two center quartz blocks at the front of the car. On the side of the car, 
right in the center window, below the center window of the quartz, you want to place an item frame with a block of redstone in it. Then you want a button either side of that. That's on one side, you want to do the same thing on the opposite side. So coming to the opposite side, we want to have the item frame with the red block of redstone, and we want the button either side of this, like that. Well, once you've got that taken care of, you want to come all the way up to the top front of the car, and you want to place a, an item frame in front of each end of the quartz slabs here, just above the window, and you want to place a blue wall inside of each one of those item frames like that. We're going to need more materials. Get rid of your ladders, get rid of your slabs, you probably won't be needing those. Grab some glass, you'll also need uh, some never brick fence. Fill in the windows um, that are left with your black stained glass pane. Just fill in those windows like that. Then, can you see these blocks that are in between the windshield and the window that we just filled in? Well, we want to have a never brick fence coming out of those with an item frame in front and then a blue wall in front of that. So on either side, this quartz block, never brick fence, item frame in front, blue wall in front of that. And you'll end up with something that should look like that. And we almost have Ecto-1, almost forgot something. Well, the last thing that you can do, because this is the last part, you can grab signs and you can do this on the front and the back and you can place inside of the signs, because we have to have two signs, Ecto for this first sign, and that should be done. And then for this second one, we can have here just a dash and one. Done. So you can have that on the front and the back of the car, and there you have Ecto-1, or as close as I could get to it. If I would have made this significantly bigger, I would have been able to make it more detailed. But, I did want Ecto-1 to fit in nicely with our Ghostbusters headquarters. I wanted, I wanted it to kind of like draw the eye to the headquarters, and I wanted to do that in a way where the car was still subtle and not like a giant or anything, kind of like the Uncle Grandpa RV that I've made. But, hopefully you guys like this anyway. Like I said, it could be better, it absolutely could, but I just don't know how at this size. I don't know how to make it any better. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a like, I'd really appreciate it. Give it a share, give it a favour, anything you'd like to do to help me out, I'd really appreciate it. If you have actually liked this, and if you've made it, follow me on Twitter, at TSMC360. I'd really appreciate it. Comment down below, let me know what you want me to make next. Very interested to see what you guys want me to make. Also, check out the card system, check out the description below. Not only will I show you how to make that tiki bar from earlier just because it was in the shot, but I'll also show you how to make the Ghost Buster headquarters. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.